Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the North Smoke, Smoke Homestead. Homestead. This week we took the morning to help at the church's Greek festival before a long trip to visit some family. Third mystery boxes. It's kind of exciting. Anything could be in there. This is our cheese, peanut butter. <laughs> I really wonder what this is. Oh, it's more cheese. I guess. Did I get two? I got an extra cheese, so we should probably go let them know. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go tell them in case it's someone else looking for. Yep. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Even though I'm really tempted to just say, oh, "Hey, I love we'll the pay cheese. you for it." Entire block of cheese guilt free. <laughs> So it's about time that we decide to update you on what we've been thinking about. We've given little hints here and there in some of our conversation on the videos, but we knew going into it that this was going to be an experimental process and we didn't know how exactly the, the garden area was going to be in the back. Did expect that the back garden area would be better for planting and growing than this front area. But as the season has worn on and the way the sun is and the way that the trees are off our property are the cast shade. We've noticed that that back area is just not getting nearly enough sun to, to give, uh, it's giving maybe four hours, especially this time of, of year, four hours of sun, which is not enough for healthy garden uh, gardening. So this front area of the yard closer to the house gets a lot more sun than the back area does. Uh, the soil, we're, we're we talking about getting it tested. We never have gotten it tested. Uh, at the same time, in that area anyway, it's probably very similar soil to this area. We've run into issues with pests. We've toyed around with the idea of raised beds for, you know, since the beginning. There's some costs associated with that, and so we were going to just try, you know, this season, let's just throw everything in the ground and, and we'll see what happens. And we saw what happened, <laughs> and it wasn't enough. So We saw also what didn't happen. Yeah. I think a big thing that really changed our minds, too, is the contrast between the way that the back garden is doing and the way that our raised bed up by the house is doing and I think that helped us make our minds up a little bit more resolutely that raised garden beds really seem like a better option for our soil and for our yard and we found ways that we can fill raised garden beds on a budget and um, it's actually a lot healthier and so we're going to wind up I think doing that. We're going to build raised beds from cedar pickets. So that'll be a lot cheaper. Yes. And the benefits for cedar, of course, I think we may mention before is that it's a, it's a, <laughs> some of a pest repellent. Um, that's one of the, the big benefits from it. And where we live, there's plenty of garden pests. Um, 
probably no worse than a lot of areas, other places, but it's just one of those things you have to grapple with and cedar will help uh, abate some of that. And we'll, we'll wind up having way fewer problems with weeds if we have raised beds. Yes. We also weren't struggling with the downy mildew in the raised beds. It's true. Even this, uh, we had a in-ground gardening plot right next to our raised beds and it had downy mildew and the raised bed right next to it didn't have it. Mm -hmm. I think, too, um, having the garden closer to the house will make it a little bit more operable for us. It's the things that we go out and get are right next to the house. I mean, probably because those are the things that are growing. But I think it's just, it's more... It's closer to our water source, if nothing else. Yeah, and it, it's more likely that we can install a drip system so we're not forgetting to water things and losing crops just because of forgetfulness. So... The other thing, one of our big goals, one of our probably the original goal that kind of got us on this path was we wanted chickens. We have purchased the bulk of the materials for the chicken coop that we want. Whenever we were looking at which coop to get, we ended up using a chicken coop plan from Oak Abode. And um, so we went with this particular coop. It was like a great coop. It could hold up to like 20 chickens, which we're not going to plan to get to. For a, while. for a while. I mean, we'd like to have, you know, 10 or 15 within a few years. Um, but so it, it's one that looks like it's it's sturdy. It's it's going to last. It's modular so you can take it apart like in just flat pieces so you can move it wherever you go. Right. In case we relocate. We also noticed on our property that the sunlight kind of goes in a slice <laughs> diagonally. And it, like most of the yard up by the house is in the sun for a lot of the day. And then even like a slice diagonally down on the opposite the side of where we have the garden right now. So it's the other side of the yard. And there's quite a lot of sunlight out there in the afternoons. Mm -hmm. And then so we're going to measure that the yard up by the house. And we're going to try to plot out how many garden beds we want to build. And then start building some raised garden beds. You know, those seem less overwhelming than the chicken coop. <laughs> yeah, it's less overwhelming. Um, I'm afraid of the chicken, putting the chicken coop off so long that it's I don't know what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Don't do it. yeah, I'm just afraid of starting it and then doing it wrong and wasting a bunch of expensive materials. And I don't know why we would do it wrong. <laughs> Oh, you I mean, must never have seen me build something. But I'm saying, we, if we w wait until spring to do it, we could still do it wrong. You know, it's, it's, I know it's not of... like I'm putting it off for a valid reason. I'm just saying, like <laughs> when I think about it, I'm like, well, what if we do it wrong? And then I get like stressed out and I don't want to do it. There is some risk that something will get a little screwed up, but I'll de I'll definitely be measuring four times <laughs> and cutting once. <laughs> Odds are that we're not going to mess up every single piece. I think what the most expensive thing we got was like fifty dollars for a piece of plywood. Plywood. Mm -hmm. Thirty-five. So, so I mean, if we mess that one up, it's going to be bad news. But I mean, that'll be sad news. But it'll be something you just deal with. I think it will be a whole lot easier on both of us if we go in and start looking at the plans together figuring out what it's going to take and how it's supposed to work and once we know that we won't be as afraid of it i won't be anyway i will support you i'll try okay. i'm really bad at spatial reasoning no you're not, you're not as bad as you <laughs> i think i'm pretty bad <laughs> You know the Lego instructions where it gives you step by step every single piece to put on? I am horrible at those. I think jumping right in was a fun experience. I think we enjoyed it. I think it was, wasn't necessary to do otherwise. Either. Yeah, and now I know what things I need to research for our spring garden. I'm actually really looking forward to it. And I kind of know how to find out some of that information a little bit better. I kind of... I enjoy the turning of the season and I enjoy being inside and snuggled in and doing things inside for a while and then by the time it's, you know, spring rolls around, like, I'm gonna be ready, I'm gonna be excited. You see why, how people have been able to manage this for, you know, 
thousand of years that we it we're really designed. Does, yeah, it's, it's, it's we're cyclical. seasonal. We decided that we are going to build raised beds from cedar picket fence. Uh, fence. Picket. We're, we're going to build. Not in service at this time. We're going to build raised beds from cedar pickets. So that'll be a lot cheaper. So you just give me the Chicken drill, sandwich. and don't you worry, I'll screw it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking up. Yes. <laughs> it took you so long. Well, it's because I was thinking, I was.